Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Desi. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Uh, today I wanted to do something a bit different. I'm actually be, I mean, <laughs> I will actually be doing my first um, studio vlog slash um, not exactly a tutorial, but just showing you guys how I make my notebooks for my stationery line. So I started making handmade stationery and. It is actually being featured. I partnered up with a brand called Hustle and Purpose NYC. Um, they're based in New York, and they are actually um, they have my stationery line and my home decor handmade line on their website. And it launched this week, so it's up for sale. And I'm actually creating a new um, set of notebooks to add to the stationery collection. And this is what they look like. So it's going to be blue, uh, this is a yellowy beige, blue beige, and then there's also a pink. Um, and pretty much it has 40 blank white pages, and it is hand bound, so I did do the hand binding myself. I think it makes it super cute and just, um, just really really delicate and elegant and the front has lace and this sparkly blue ribbon that matches with the notebook cover and that is on the inside as well and you can actually use it as a pocket to slide anything you know maybe some stickers or a reminder card journaling card in there and yeah so you have um 40 pages single pages which makes it 80 writing pages um, so yeah, this is the one that I'm gonna record um, creating right now. I finished the blue set, so these are pretty much done. They're complete. It's just a regular um, embroidery stitch for the binding. I hope you can see that there. And um, yeah, so this is pretty much it. I'm super excited about adding these to the website. Um, I am going to finish binding the yellow, the shimmery yellow um, notebooks. I still have to do the binding on these and also um, add the studs at the front. So I'm going to record doing that. And you know, if you guys enjoy this video, please let me know. I would love to do more like these. I will make a couple more going over the other stationary pieces that I do have in my shop. I'm definitely excited to show you guys those. Um, I guess I can show you guys these. I have been creating journaling cards. They are on the website. Um, these are new colors that I'm adding to the collection. So we have the purple, sparkly purple with the lace. And it goes around to the back as well. I have to add the gems on these. So there's going to be gems that line the top just to make them blinged out and just more elegant and classy and they also have the ribbon at the bottom so it's ribbon at the top with lace at the bottom and then at the bottom it's just the ribbon and I'm gonna add the gems at the top I did stitch these down with my sewing machine so these are stitched and so there's purple there's a really um, really pretty dark pink and there is the blue it's kind of a um kind of like a, a baby blue so and they're really sparkly i really i really like that about them and you have the lace and then i do have a gold as well this is what the gold looks like so yeah um i have to complete these and then i will add these to the site so I'm going to put these to the side and I'm going to finish binding these books and adding the embellishments on top. So I hope you guys enjoy this. <laughs> I'm just actually listening to, listening to some jazz. So...
and I usually do three knots because I just want to make sure that it is secure and I use this is a waxed nylon thread so it works really well keeps the binding um, keeps the book secure and then I just trim off a little bit right there on each side and it is complete and what I like to do is I would just open it out and just get all the pages press them down a bit and I really just go through you know just a couple on each side to make sure that it stays down and I'm pretty sure the camera shaking because <laughs> I'm moving the uh, desk but yeah, so this is the yellow's done. I'm gonna finish up the rest. And I use paper inside of the clips so that the clips don't leave an imprint on the notebook pages. Um, yeah, it just helps keep the pages. It helps keep the pages nice and clean without any, um, you know, scratches or imprints from from these clasps. So yeah, I like to clip it down like that on each side, and then I'll go ahead and make the holes with my puncher right here and I actually got this on Amazon um, it works really well to get the holes and I don't measure at all I just eyeball it and I only do three for the saddle stitch because I think that's more than enough for um, these notebooks. Yeah, I think three is fine. And see, it goes through pretty well. I don't do a huge hole because um, I don't want it to look torn on the outside. I'm pretty sure the table is shaking a lot. <laughs> so sorry about that. my thread and these are embroidery needles um, I actually ordered the book binding kit on Amazon um, I believe it was I'm not too sure of the price I think it was like 20 something dollars like 20 25 dollars for the book binding kit and it came with the um, hole punch not hole punch the um, hole piercer <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not the correct name but yeah the one that I just used to punch to pierce the holes through the papers it came with that it also came with um, six different colors of the waxed thread um, it came with the these blank clamps that I use to hold the books together it came with four of those and it came with the um, paper cutters, so the box cutter knife, um, or the, what do you call it, uh, um, what is the actual name for it? I have to look that up. Um, but um, it, these, it came with two of these that I used to cut my papers with and then it also came with one of these it's like a mini, uh, a mini box cutter and um, it also came with um, extra blades for this one and that one so when the blades become a bit dull I just change them out which is really good because after cutting a lot of paper the blade do um, 
become a bit dull and it just it really jacks up your paper um, it just the cuts the edges are not straight and you know you want your edges to be really straight especially if you're making um, notebooks or journals to sell you don't want the edges to look um, serrated or uneven or like you, you didn't know what you were doing you want it to look professional and clean so those precision knives really help to clean up your edges I do want to get um, the guillotine paper cutter pretty soon that just helps um, a lot more like it speeds up the process of when you have to cut a lot of paper so this one is done I'm just going to open it up and press down the pages I'm so sorry for the camera shaking like that uh, I think I need to pull the table back a bit let me do that right now because I don't like it shaking like that. It's very annoying. Like, really annoying. Oh, this is so much better. Okay. And also, my setup right now is ridiculous. I have my phone set up to um, a really small tripod. And then I attached it to a really tall tub um, that I have some crafting supplies in. It's the only way I could really get this overhead shot, so yeah. A very DIY contraption to get this video going. But you know, at least I'm getting it done and I really wanted to put out a video, so yeah. So this one's done. Um, I need to do these. to jazz. This is not jazz. Let's listen to some coffee shop lo-fi. Lo-fi, lo-fi. I'm not too sure how you say it, but... I just eyeball it again because I think it's just better eyeballing it instead of measuring it. I don't know. For me, it works. And I usually get it, you know, exactly where it needs to be. I actually really like this um, waxed red because it is just so perfect for bookbinding. And I'm glad that I got different shades because I do have um, in my the journaling set that is launched on the Hustle and Purple website. I have pink, black, and a golden beige um, journals. The covers of those colors. So, um, having a variety of thread is very helpful, so that way it blends in with whatever, um, with whatever, um, color cover 
we want to go with. So yeah, I like that. So definitely check out Amazon. Amazon has pretty much all of the tools you would need if you have been thinking of maybe starting um, creating either your own stationery line to sell online and make extra money or if you just want to create your own journal or notebooks for yourself or for friends or family you know as gifts amazon has all the binding materials they have all of the cardstock that you would need and the prices are not bad at all they are pretty good um you can always get cardstock from michael's however i would say you know just shop around because you don't want to spend too much on cardstock um you want to get a good deal especially if you're going to be selling you want to make sure that you're um, budgeting wisely and getting the best deals um, you definitely want to make sure you're getting good quality but at the same time um, you know you, if you're selling creating anything to sell you want to make sure you're getting a profit and you're not just um, buying high priced items and getting no money back you know after you make a sale because you do have to replenish the supplies when you create your items and they sell out you have to purchase more supplies to make more so you know you want to make sure that you're getting good deals on your supplies what i would say is the materials or the equipment that you're going to use um, and it's a one-time purchase kind of and they're gonna last you like for a, a really long time definitely it's wise to invest in quality equipment um, not, not cheap equipment because if you're gonna be using it over and over and over again it should be a high quality item um, but again shop around and yeah this one's done I have one more I just um, I created a bunch before so I'm just finishing up the last uh, 15 five blues five yellows and five pinks um, and then that'll be it for me for tonight and in my next video I will um, show you guys how I created my journals with the that are on the website listed on the website for sale um, they are in the sweet life collection they are super cute I actually will show you guys those but I just want to get these done and add the embellishments on there and package them up so that I can list these tomorrow or I might list them tonight but I do have to take photos so we'll see how that goes I like to keep it closed because then the papers are like lined properly so I like to keep it closed and then poke my holes in there instead of like laying it flat I, I don't like laying it flat to poke my holes so I just do a bird's eye view, poke it in. If any of you out there um, have started creating your own handmade stationery, I would definitely love to hear about it in the comments below. Or if you're thinking about starting your own stationery shop or your own Etsy shop or your own online boutique, even if you're using a different platform, um, I would love to hear it in the comments below. I think that, you know, whatever you want to do, you should definitely, you know, take that step and start creating, start your business. Don't wait because sometimes you wait and you think of all the reasons why you shouldn't start your business. And that's just procrastinating because um, if you start today, in a year from now, you, your business could be so successful and you could be doing the thing that you love the most. So don't let fear hold you back or, you know, the fact that maybe other people, like you see what they're doing 
and their, their products look so amazing. Don't doubt yourself or second guess yourself because your products and whatever you do is going to be just as great or better. I think a lot of times we could be our hardest critics and you know that's not a good thing. I mean it can be a good thing but when it stops you from actually doing what you want to do and should do and going after your dreams that's when it's a problem so go out there you can always improve you can always make your products better you can always grow and change things but definitely start today um so yeah oops comment below let me know what type of business you want to start or if you've started one what type of business it is what kind of products you make Leave me a comment no, below, I really want to know. This is the last one and then I will add the embellishment at the front.
so this is almost done. So these are all done. So I have five of these, and I'm going to add the studs now. So let's do that. And this is the gem that I'm gonna be adding. Hope you can see that. Hold on. Yep. So it's just a small strip that's gonna go like right here. And yeah. I used the E6000 glue because this is the best glue that works. And this glue dries pretty well it's not a fast drying glue but when it dries it's on there so i do not mind that it's not a super fast drying glue i just want it to like be stuck on there once it's done and not come off at all so this is what it looks like when it's done it's really cute it just adds a little you know extra prettiness Pulling pizzazz to it, <laughs> so I really like that about it. And I'm gonna put this aside to dry. And do the rest.
Then I try to just measure it out and cut the pieces that I need. Three, four, five, six pieces. Okay. I only need five, but that's all right. off of my hands. If you didn't know, these alcohol wipes, wait, there we go, these alcohol wipes really um, help with the E6000 glue. Uh, if it gets on something that you don't want it to get on, it really helps to remove it easily. Um, and just to clean up the nib, it's really good, so. Two more to go.
actually have the window open so if you guys are hearing like cars and traffic and helicopters that's just the you know regular New York sounds so don't mind the sounds I do have on some um, coffee jazz music cafe jazz music actually but I didn't turn it up too loud because I didn't know if it would drown my voice <laughs> so I guess we'll see how this video goes because I have no clue if you guys are even hearing me that well but yeah we'll see hopefully you guys still enjoy this video a little bit um, and hopefully it inspires you to create something you know I think that's the biggest thing that I want for my channel for you guys to just be inspired to go after your dreams and create um, whatever you want to do you know you should go after it and do it because it is real life and no one is going to push you or support you if you don't do it yourself so you know whatever you guys want to go after you should just get started I always say that write your goals down make it plain look at it every day track your progress and never stop hustling just you know keep working and work smart put in the hours put in the time to learn to grow and you will see success and you'll see growth and before you know it you would have reached and achieved your dreams but that can only happen if you take a step forward and start going after your goals okay that's the last one so those are gonna dry and then i will package them up later once they've dried and add them to the other ones that i've made Um, let me actually get that one and show you guys. These are the pinks. I hope the camera shows the true colors, but this is the pink um, notebooks. It's super cute. I love the colors. So the pink Rubian matches with the shimmer pink cards cardstock that I got and these I have to trim the paper down I haven't done that for the pink ones yet but for these last five um, I only need to do five more because I did the others already um, so I'm gonna trim these down tomorrow and then I'll add the embellishments and also do the book bindings um, so yeah that's about it for this video this is a completed one this was the prototype actually the first one that i did um and yeah so like i was showing you guys you can take like your journaling card and you can stick it in there if you wanted to you know or if you have some stickers or a note or something you can stick it in there or you can just leave it like that and this one's bound like the others so it's just a really simple but cute notebook that you can use to jot down your thoughts, your goals, your to-dos, um, you know, just to keep track of your life, your business, whatever it is that you're doing. I just want these notebooks to inspire people to write and plan and just go after their dreams and their goals. You can even use it as a gratitude notebook, gratitude journal um, for school notes, you know, that way you're excited to go into your notebook and go over your notes you can use it just to sketch um these papers are just regular text weight copy paper so they're not good for watercolors or markers but they're great for pencils regular pens and highlighters um yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video that's gonna be it for today i'm gonna leave a link in the description for the um book binding kit that I got off of Amazon which included you know pretty much everything that I have here 
and also the cutting tools that I use to cut my paper and trim the, the edges down. These are the other threads that came in the bookbinding kit. There's a black, there's a medium brown, um, there's a, a yellowish brown, and I love this one. This one is multicolored. I hope you guys can see them actually in there. This one is a multicolored um, thread, and then there's a royal blue thread. This one's really pretty too. So yeah, it came with six threads and the binder clamps, or the paper clamps, and it also came with the book binding brush if you want to bind your books with glue and do like notepads or um, sticky notes, stuff like that. And it did come with a bone folder, so I used this to like fold my cardstock and my pages. It's really, really helpful. And yeah, so um, that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. Um, I will definitely do some more vlogs or studio vlog-ish <laughs> videos showing you guys how I create my items to sell. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, please definitely go check out the website hustleandpurposenyc.com. I'll leave the link in the description so you guys can go check out my stationery line. And please leave me a comment below. Let me know what is your goal, um, your business goal or your dream for the remainder of 2020. What do you plan to accomplish? Um, I definitely love to hear about it and chat with you guys in the comments. So leave me a comment below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> I That really helps my channel. I would love for my channel to grow and just continue to be an inspiration to people. So yeah, um, I hope you guys have an awesome night. It's actually nighttime here in New York. So if you're watching this in the daytime, nighttime, have an awesome day, have an awesome night. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks guys.